welcome. If you're new here, my name is Claudia, and today we're going to make caldo verde, which is a traditional Portuguese soup made with potatoes, onions, garlic, some chorizo, and thinly sliced collard greens. It is perfect for soup season. It is very hearty and economical to make. You can find it everywhere in Portugal, be it a fancy restaurant or just in your local little town cafe. For this recipe, we're going to be using some diced potatoes. I'm using russet potatoes. We're also going to need a chopped up onion, some garlic cloves and bay leaves, chorizo, a Portuguese chorizo, and some collard greens that we're going to be cutting into ribbons. If you don't have collard greens, you can use a curly kale that works very well. We're also going to use chicken stock. Traditionally, uh, caldo verde was made just with water. Um, I like to use chicken stock, so I'll be using better than bouillon. So let's get into it, bora cozinhar. So we won't be using all of this chorizo, we're just gonna use half of it. And we want to remove the skin before we cut it up. So um, let's just go ahead and do that. So we wanna remove the skin and then we'll cut it up into slices. So now that we've removed all the skin, I'm going to dice it up a bit. There's still some skin here that I missed. Let's get that out. And I just like to dice it up like so. Now let's prep our collard greens. We're gonna cut the stalk like so. Cut the stalk out and we're gonna use these stalks in the soup. I'm just gonna cut this end off. Um, we're gonna dice them up small and then put them uh, in with the onions and saute them because the soup will get pureed so we don't have to worry about it being too crunchy or thick. And now for the, we're gonna make some ribbons with the collard green leaves, like so. Um, so you wanna roll it up tightly. And now we're just gonna cut thin ribbons of the Colored greens, like so. I find the thinner, the better. So here we have it. We're just cutting some colored green ribbons that will then go in our soup. Okay, now that we've prepped all our ingredients, it's time to start making our soup. I'm using a medium size um, pot. As you can see, and I'm going to add in about mm, two or three tablespoons of olive oil. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to do four tablespoons of olive oil. Once the olive oil is hot, we're going to add in our chorizo. And we're going to cook it for about um, three to five minutes. So it has been about three minutes, and as you can see, the chorizo is releasing some of its flavor into the olive oil. And now we're gonna remove the chorizo, and we'll add it back in after we've pureed the soup. And we do this because this is such a simple soup uh, with simple ingredients, it's important that you build the flavors and not just add everything into a pot and then call it a day. But this uh, of like sauteing the chorizo first is gonna add so much flavor to your soup. 
instead of just adding it um, after you finish making the soup. Okay, so we've removed all the chorizo. Now we're gonna add in our onion. And we're gonna saute it for about two to three minutes until it's nice and soft. We can also add in our um, collard green stock. And I like to season as I go. So at this point, I'm gonna add in a bit of salt. A little. Our onions are starting to get soft and now I'm going to add in the garlic and the bay leaves and just saute for about 30 seconds. Okay, so after 30 seconds, you're ready to add in your potatoes. Just coat the potatoes with the vegetables that are in here. All that oil and taste from the chorizo. And now we're going to add in our chicken stock. In my case, I'm adding water and then I'm gonna add in the bouillon. You can see the color of the stock already. It's a beautiful, caramel brown color. We're gonna cover it and cook it for 20 minutes until the potatoes are soft. So it has been about 20 minutes now and our potatoes are almost done. I'm gonna add in a handful of the collard greens and let that go for about five minutes. And then I'm going to puree the soup with an immersion blender. I'm also gonna take out the um, bay leaves before I do that. Okay, so now we're going to puree the soup with the immersion blender. Now that the soup is pureed, I have tried it and I'm gonna adjust the seasoning before I put in um, the rest of the collard greens. So I'm just gonna add a bit more salt and pepper. I'm using black pepper. You can also use just white pepper so it's less noticeable in the soup. And let me just taste it again to make sure it's perfect. Now we're gonna add in our collard greens. And we're gonna let it go just for five minutes. So our soup is ready and we're good to eat it now. So the chorizo that we sauteed at the beginning, we can either add it to the soup and just stir it into the soup now, or you can serve the soup and then put a few pieces of chorizo on top. Um, so let's go ahead and taste our soup. So as you can tell, it's beautifully, it's creamy without adding cream and that's just from the potatoes and you have the collard greens wrapping around the spoon. I'm just gonna add a few chorizo pieces to the top. So now comes the difficult part. Let's have a taste. It is such a simple soup, easy to make, but the flavors are so 
complementing to each other. And it's such a hearty soup to make um, now that the temperatures are getting cooler. Um, you can serve it just as an entree um, or with a slice of some cornbread. It's also great as like if you make some risois or pastéis de bacalao, which are like the codfish cakes or the shrimp um, patties to serve along with a salad or just having a soup for dinner with some cornbread. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know if you make it. Let me know if you have any other suggestions of what you want to see on the channel. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.